Kabila, thanks indeed for talking to us. Uh, so we've just heard from uh, Lux Klamini. Uh, what's uh, been the reaction so far to some of those remarks he's been, uh, he's been saying to his supporters this afternoon? Well, Devin, I think we heard clear that he's also putting an end to the fights that we saw between them and EFF. He's saying that his supporters must take a different stance. And, of course, he's going to be walking out soon after those marks from Soweto Parliament, we understand. But a lot of them just very much excited, very excited to see him. I mean, I'm sure you saw we also got caught in a stampede. So I don't even know if I look decent at this point because we got caught up. That's how excited everyone was. We felt like we were literally just on the high as we were going to the stage. But I want to bring in some of the leaders from Soweto right here who are here listening and excited to be here. Ma'am, the smile just says it all. Yes, I'm Sihle Sinisi from Kwanele Foundation and we, Delta Luxon Soweto Parliament is a friend of Kwanele Foundation. I mean, we advocate against gender-based violence and femicide and we deal with cases of human trafficking and drugs all the time. So we are excited that he actually got bail. I mean, we were in the court. We were privileged enough to be in the court when they were discussing the reasons for him to get bail. And I'm so super excited that he came out because we, not in our lifetime, as young black South Africans, should we turn a blind eye to drug peddling? Because many of us here, we know of families of people that are selling drugs in our neighborhoods, in our society. And we are saying enough is enough. This drug selling must stop. It doesn't mean we're xenophobic, but until when must we turn a blind eye when another young black South African or any other black African child or white child for that matter should die because of drugs? People are living life lifestyles because they are driving the latest cars because they are drug peddlers and we are turning a blind eye not in our lifetime will we turn a blind eye so we are saying enough is enough and we are standing here in solitude and we support operation Tutula as long as it works within the proper lines of the law legally so we support them theirs is just to say enough with drug peddling stop it we as Dr. Lux just said all of us here we know the hot spots where the drugs are being sold we know the people that are selling drugs. I mean, we have cases in schools. Just last week, we were at a school in Johannesburg South, where the kids there are suicidal, anxious, depressed. Some of them have already started testing narcotics. So what must we do? Must we turn a blind eye? So it's not enough that, as Guanila Foundation, we give dialogues on gender-based violence and femicide. We need such operations to come on board. Parents, come on board. Let's stop the scourge of drug peddling. If I'm hearing you right, you're saying unity is the way forward at this point. So how do how do you feel about Glentalax now saying that to his supporters that there needs to be a way of speaking as young people that they mustn't be hating or showing any form of hate to EFT? Of course, of course. I support what he's saying. We cannot go around hating any political party or hating anybody for that matter. Ours must be unity. Ours is one voice. Ours is a voice that says we cannot turn a blind eye to drugs, corruption. You name it. The time is now, like Dr. Lux said, our time is now. We will never have this time again if we do not actively stand up and raise our voices because our voice must be amplified. Now we're amplifying the voice of Operation Tutula. We're standing against drugs. We're standing against narcotics. And let no one out there be there to silence us. Enough is enough. I mean, he was talking about a case of a young boy who died who's 15 years old. What must we do? Why is it that media people in high positions only come and show face when someone has died? That's when they will come and say we stand against one, two, three, one, two, three. But when such operations are happening, people turn a blind eye. Instead, behind the scenes, they want to sabotage. So we are 100% alongside saying enough is enough. So are you excited then? Yes, extremely excited that Ganta is out and he gets to be able to, he's going back to court, of course, on, in May for the trial or whatever to start. But we're excited because at least his voice was not silenced and he speaks. He stands for many black South Africans. In fact, not only black South Africans, he stands for many Africans. We are standing and we're saying enough is enough. Let's stop this drug peddling and let's make it fashionable for us to report when we hear, when we see drugs being sold. Let's Let's make it fashionable to report. Let's not turn a blind eye because if that child next door is dying and is addicted to drugs, it's your child. As long as you are born in this, in this earth, you are the child of the soil. A child that dies is one too many.
Thank you very much. Finally, Foundation, they're just weighing in on what Santa Lux has currently said. But of course, people are eager to speak, and, and he still wants to speak, this gentleman here. The president must know, in Orlando, uh, Winnie Mandela. Sir, sir, please just, just speak to us nicely. Can hear you. Just raise your voice. Winnie Mandela, you did talk about Africa. South Africans, you're going to take your country. Not the president. He must wake up for us. To wash us. You must be a president only. You must come to address the people. All right, thank you. You can just see the passion there, Devin. A lot of people very passionate about this. Let's hear. You've been here. You've been outside the, the, the Johannesburg Central SAPS. You were there the entire time. How are you today? How are you feeling? Woo! I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed. I don't know what I'm I don't know what to say. I'm having goosebumps. But the only thing that I'm pleading to the people of South Africa, black and white, let's stand together and fight these rough things. Thank you so much, South Africans. Thank you for the support. Let's unite black and white. Let's be transparent. We shouldn't hide things. We shouldn't say right is wrong. When something is wrong, it's wrong. When something is right, something is right. Thank you, South Africans. All right, well, Devin, I mean, I, 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 I'm going to try and see if I can't find more people to speak to me. You look shy, sir. You don't seem interested to speak to me, but give me a comment. How are you feeling? You're coming from Abantu, Abantu Bato Congress. How are you feeling? So you're coming from KZN? No, I'm in Gauteng. I'm the interim secretary of the APC in Gauteng. So we are very happy uh, what we see today uh, because Comrade Nkanta is out. As all of the people know that the APC is uh, sharing the same sentiment with the Operation Tutula because the founding document of the APC, it says clear about the illegal immigrants. We also want that illegal immigrants must be arrested and deported from our country because all what they are doing in their country is unacceptable. And of course, you've heard the speech, the unity is the way forward. How do you feel about that? What's your reaction to that? We, are, we, 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 we take the note that we need to be very united as the black South Africans to confront the situation that we are facing in this country. Thank you very much, sir. So I'm going to try and bring in more people. I saw you there recording as well with your phone, and the excitement is just written all over your, play, or your face. How are you feeling today? What's your reaction to your leader finally coming out? I am very excited today. This day has finally come where we stay Jorge, um, down with corruption in our country. We're very happy Jorge and Santa has been released. Now, um, now the only aim is for us to actually go on the ground and fight the corruption that's happening, fight the crime as well. And we saying we are appealing to all South Africans. We say, well, you are the ones that are enable, enabling these people to actually do all the crime in our community. Let's start on the ground and clean up our country. Our law has been captured and we actually we have hope. The Dula operation gives us a glimpse of hope that we are going to sort out the issues that we have in this country and Africa as a whole will start developing. And as a young person, do you see a future in Operation Tutula? I do have a future. I do see a future in Operation Tutula. Um, if there's one thing about Tutula operation is the fact that Tutula operation speaks to me as a young person. You know, I can relate to the issues that they speak about and the issues that they address. So I'm saying I am for Tutula operation and I, I support it. Thank you very much my lady. Let's bring you in. You coming from Patriotic Alliance I can see that. Um, how are you also feeling about the speech that has been just um, read or rather said by Tantalax? Uh, I came I traveled all the way from Lipompo. I'm the provincial chairperson of Patriotic Alliance in Lipompo. So obviously as Patriotic Alliance we support uh, uh, Operation Dudula because it represents some of the things that we believe in as Patriotic Alliance. For example, South Africa as a country has been evaded by illegal foreigners who have actually taken over the country. For an example, if you go to, to, to places like Guyane, for an example, 70% of children that are born out of Kinsane Hospital are children from foreigners, not actually South Africans. There's a big stat, sir. Do you have proof of that stat? There is proof from people who work in the hospital. We live in those communities. So it clearly points out to a problem that we have as a country. If foreigners can, can give birth 
to children more than the actual natives of this country, then we are facing a huge problem as a country. So, so we can't sit back as South Africans. Crime is huge. And who commit this particular crime? Who, 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 who commit a, a, a heist? It's foreigners. In Rosettenville, we, have, we had proved that uh, almost 90% of the people that were, were, were killed, they were foreigners. So these, we don't, we don't need some agencies to come and do statistics because the reports are there. We can prove those reports. So the, we need to take back our countries as, as South Africans. These people who go out and accuse us as xenophobes are wrong because our own people, when they were fighting for this country, they didn't go to, to those uh, African countries to build spaza shops. They went there to, 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 to get trained military so that they can come back and fight for their own country. But these guys come to our country and build spaza shops and sell drugs in our own communities. Did we go to their countries to sell drugs? We never did that. So we've got a major problem in this country and we don't have leadership. Right? We've got leaders who want to please everybody. So if you are a leader and you want to please everybody, go and sell ice cream. We are not here to, to, to be diplomatic. We are here to speak the truth. So we are saying all illegal foreigners must go back to their home countries. They must leave South Africa to ask South Africans. All right, sir, and a very passionate day, I can see. Now, how do you feel about Tantalax being out? I'm very happy that Tantalax is out. He was arrested on petty charges, right? Those charges are very petty. You don't arrest people for petty charges. He should have just been summoned to go to court. So, but they, they, they arrested him on petty charges. Viva Operation Dudula Viva. All right. Well, we can see Bongosi is back on the, is now on the stage. He's just been granted some time to now address the Operation Dudula members. We're trying to make our way to the top. Let's see if we can manage to get some of his speech. But a lot of people just gathering to listen to him. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, excuse me, we just want to go to the front, please. Let us in, please. Media coming through. Well, we can see. Okay, my We can see Bongosi there at the top. Let's just go in. So, comrades, we want to thank your unity. We want to thank your discipline. We want to thank your courageousness. We want to thank you for standing with Tanjalaks if the old politicians were discussing him. You have shown that the people are more powerful when they are united against all politicians combined. Today, they are saying on national television they were not responsible for the arrest of Kantala. Yet when Kanta, they went and opened rally, they were saying Kanta is a hooligan, Kanta must be arrested, Kanta is this and that. He is insulted by Malema, who is more than the age of 48. Young as he is. This should tell you about the leaders of this country. If you are a politician, you think Kanta is wrong. It is your responsibility to call him over your table and say, how can we do better than <laughs> You go in a rally, you throw ten drums like a child who is angry that the other child is playing with his toys. That is the caliber of leaders we have in this country. That is the culture that we have in this country. 
But what I am happy with is that today, like it or not, this is a day of victory. We saw in KZN, they are saying Dudula is not going to enter KZN. Well, that's straight outside of the courtroom there, uh, Operation Dudula members and supporters of uh, Ntlantla Dlamini, who has just been granted bail. Uh, being addressed outside there. They've been calling for inclusive leadership, uh, mentioning struggle stalwart names and saying that they would not be deterred from their mission out there. We'll have more details on that when we come back.